Hey guys, James here. What's going on? I just want to show you what this WP40 is doing. I'm only at 19 volts. Alright, now watch this saying. It's totally transforming my entire sand bed. Which actually is a good thing because it's pulling all that crap out of the sand bed. Look at it, it blew it all out from under here. So, yeah, it's definitely got a lot of power. Look at this. My fish are having one hell of a time swimming. Need the sand bed. So what I went ahead and did, oh yeah, look at that sand dune forming right there. What I went ahead and did was I took my return and turned it facing down right there. Sorry, the glass is dirty because I'm making a mess over here. So now it's able to blow out back over here, which it's working out really well. You can see how much is gone already. Um, the funny thing is, is most of the Zoas are loving it. And same with the Pally. Look at that Pally, man. He's standing right up. And the bird's nest, I moved him up. So now you get a really good view of this guy. And he seeming to be digging this crazy amount of current going on in here and the same with the slimer here I think his polyps are extended like crazy right now yep Right now my tank is just one giant, kind of like a cloud. Now look at the water flow up on top here. Let me just show you from back over here. Look at this water flow. Oh, that's a beast. See the current going on in here? This thing is hauling it butt, man. Now, watch what happens when I switch this thing over to wave. I'm gonna probably have to shut it down quick. All right, first this is low. Let me do low real quick for you. Just so you see the difference. See how it calmed down? Nice. Now watch wave. I might have to, like I said, I might have to shut it down because I think wave is gonna make this thing probably I don't know if it's going to make it go over or not. Watch the overflow. <laughs> Let me show you with the overflow. Ooh. And so you can see Oh, it's working. And that actually stopped this hand from blowing. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk it being that high or not. Because look at that. It's just right up in that corner. That's crazy. This is, it, like I said, this is at 14 watts. Um, I can actually slow the wave pattern down. Or not slow it down, but make it actually a quicker pulse to where it's actually a ripple effect. See how it's rippling? But see, this is what's happening. It's 
tiny that's splashing out because it's rippling so much. Let's see, check that out. It's like a big ripple effect. And look at the look at the wave maker, how it's doing it. See that pulsing action? And from over here, you can see that it's Let's see if I can steady myself. See how it's moving. See? It is blowing crap everywhere. I must say, this thing is rolling this tank though. Wow. Tank never seen nothing like this before. So, and the clam, he don't seem to be minding about it. He's just like chilling out over here. Um, shall we get brave? <laughs> thinking what I'm thinking. How about we take it up another step? All right, let's see if we can set you guys up here for one second. I'm going to go get the tripod. I've got my barrel in my way because I pulled it out so I could redo some wiring and whatnot. So, it's really like a mess over here now. You know, it's looking like a move until the screen box stuff. For this tripod to work. Uh, sorry for the thing I'm trying to find the happy point there. Look you can see the shimmer up on top from all the dust. It's got a big time shimmer from the uh, wave that's going on. Alright, now what I'm going to do is first off, let me see if I can change this lighting a little bit. No, I guess not. Alright, it is what it is. Alright, um I guess I'm just going to find a spot to zoom in. Hold on, i got to turn off these lower lights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the voltage and we're going to go even higher and see how this works out. Alright, so, so I'll plug it. Alright, currently I was at 19 volts and I'm going to go up to 20 volts. I'm going to probably flood my basement now. So here goes. Oh man, I saw that big push. Yeah, it's a huge push now. Um, I don't know if you can really t tell or not. Let's see if we can get through this dirty glass how bad the current is through here. Here it doesn't seem too bad. Alright, let's go the other direction. This 
sand could be settling down too. Well, there's some little tornadoes going on right there. The Ak Akins are actually digging this, which is pretty wild. Let me see what I've got this thing set at. That's a rippling wave right there. It's pretty crazy. Um, Alright, I'm going to crank this baby up to high. Just see what it does. It's going to make this tank roll, I'm sure. Alright, now we're at 20 volts. Look at the same. Whoa. This is at 20 volts. It's not drastic. It's not like digging. It's just taking that top off. Looks like a damn blizzard going on in here. This is the corner I'm worried, wondering about. Let's see what the even like cups in the way over there. You can tell by the way that chromey is moving that there's definitely a lot of current right there. Yeah, you can see it coming through there. See all that crap flying around. The clam, he's still happy, it looks like. Even with all this madness. The green star polyps are a good indication of how much water is actually flying through here. Look at them polyps, they're like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, it's at full blast. We're at 20. All right, that's 20. All right, now we're going to go for it. We're going to take it all the way up to 24. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. This is madness. All right, this is 24 volts. That is an extreme current going on in there. Extreme current. The only way you can really tell it is like right there. Look at the sand. My hands are wet, so I get to back out a little bit. But look at that vortex. Vortex is going on in there. Which is actually good in a sense that it's doing that because the sand has got all sorts of crap growing in it and you know I don't care if it blows it around as long as it's not going to actually bother anybody. Well, cause, I mean it's going to settle itself down. It's got to settle down. So it doesn't really matter that it's moving it I guess at the moment as long as it don't knock my rocks. Look at the torch. He's like yo man. Alright guys, I mean, for the record, this thing is cranking 24 volts, so I'm not sure what 13,000 liters per hour is. 
but it seems like that's like 6,500 GBH. If I'm not mistaken. Look at this up here. Back out of here. Look at this current. <laughs> yeah, you can hear this thing rolling. It is cranking. And if you look at the tank, it looks like a river. Big time river. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to save me a coral here. Hold on a second. The, uh. Little hammer here. It's being buried. Get him out of there. Wow. Yeah, he got buried, all right. Torturing my damn coils. Hang on a second. Let's... Yeah, I might end up having to move my corals just to adjust this. Get this hand where it's going to. Settle down. Oh, this is a square block. I thought it was round. Get a good grip on it. Sorry, guys. I'm not torturing my hammer it just looks like it <laughs> I gotta get him up the freaking sand is mad right here if I can just push him down in there I'll be all right You know, I'm gonna end up, it looks like I might end up, whoa, man. Yeah, it's definitely, it's undermining everything over here. See, look at everybody's falling over. I'm gonna definitely have to move these guys. They're loving it, though. Look at these guys. They're freaking loving this. Flow of water coming through here. Pack him up there for now. My big Aiken just took a plunk. Ah, I can't move my barrel, it's right in my way. All right, let me try. I gotta get this other Aiken. My Aikens are being abused by this flow going on right here. Let's see if I can get him out of here. I'm dropping the poor little guy. Come here, Aiken. Um, I'm going to set him right up here, I guess, for now. And just push him back down. <laughs> I feel like I'm freaking drunk. This thing is pushing my arm. There he is for now. <coughs> <coughs> wow, see, it's blasting things. It's blasting them and cleaning them off at the same time. So, look over here. It's starting to pile up over here, too. I like the current, though. I really do like the current. Let me see if I can block this, knock this sand down a little bit. As long as it doesn't blow my sand completely out of here in the front, I don't care. I'm gonna have to just push the sand back, I guess. So much for uh, not moving your sand bed too much. At least it's just in this one area, so it's not like, see, like over here, it's not moving it. It's only in this one particular area here. 
these poor polyps, they just went down. I'm going to have to find them a spot up on the rocks. Damn. So if anybody's got any questions about how good this power head is, I mean, there you go. It is blasting my tank like crazy. And it's freaking awesome, man. Right? I don't know if I can get this guy to step somewhere. Give me one second, I'm trying to... The uh, wave maker is like pushing my arm. So I'm having a hard time with this plug with the polyps on it. Damn. It has got so much force that it is just blowing my arm away like a crazy amount. I can't even <laughs> trying to move this plug and it's like blowing it right out of my hand. Give me one second here. I can't even find a good spot for this damn plug ring now. Uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time here, guys. I'm not being able to get a hole to drop this plug into at the moment. I don't want it to blow around anywhere. All right, I'll just leave it on the rock for now. Screw it. Yeah, see how it's undermining? So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. This video must be crazy long by now. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. I gotta use this hand to try to shut this thing off because my other hand's soaked. Alright, guys, sorry for the shitty video, but uh, you wanted to see it. And there it is, it's blasting this tank. So, we'll see how this works. Ciao.